hello guys this tutorial today is about uh, explaining how to use the rain ring so it will be also explaining how to link character in blender so first we will delete this so file okay link so here we have the rain rig folder so just double click on it and double click on the file and go into collections so collections is the folder so here you will have uh, for every rig there are many collections it is basically layers used in the file so if you are confused about which is the right collection just select everything and click on link so once you link you will get multiple collection over here so you can just multiple collection you can just click on this and check okay this is not the one you can check which is the right collection so with this you will get an idea of this is the right collection so this is the right collection so this has the entire character with it compared to other parts so we will be linking this character this collection so the collection's name is ch-rain okay so file new general delete everything file link and then we will link only ch rain so now we have, what we have here is the character ch rain so this will be you won't be able to use it like this this is a separate object known as a collection object that you can't adjust there is nothing you can change about it you can't edit it it's a dummy object so what we can do is we have to proxy the rig from this particular data block so this is known as a data block so if we want to uh, remove the rig and make it a proxy in this file so we have to do it from using proxy system from this data block so we'll click on object over here and then go into relation object relation and then make proxy type rig usually riggers use the word rig so it's rig dash rig if i click on it you can see the rig has appeared because that is now proxied into your file so this is proxying is something that it is calling the file uh, file from this so any changes you do on this proxy won't be happening to the main file so whatever is connected to the main file is happening on this object but whatever has happening to changes is been done to this proxy won't be affecting the main file so that's how proxy system works in render so now when i'm selecting this selection comes over so i don't want to select this object this is too irritating to be selecting in between when i'm animating so what i'll be doing is i will be disabling the selection for this mesh so first thing first we have to lock it so i'll just be selecting this i'll lock everything in this so once it's locked it won't be moving okay so after that next thing i'll do is disable the selection in outliner so in outliner you can see that there is no uh, icon to disable the selection so you have to turn it on by clicking on this funnel, funnel icon it is known as filter icon so once you click on this you click on this icon over here so this is show selections so if i disable this now the object won't be selected at all so only thing that will be selected is the rig so then i can now switch that off so it won't display over here for so now we'll be selecting this rig this rig can be moved from object mode so you can say that if you want to place this rig you can place it by using object mode you can place it anywhere on the grid using object mode so here are the values you can 
place the rib pen. So object mode is used to place the rig, character rig in particular position around the uh, BG or anything. But animation is done on pose mode. So we'll be going into pose mode. So once we switch to pose mode, here we have the rig available. So right now this rig has many controllers. So I'll be going through it. So first off, we'll check for the rig UI. What you can see over here is a new tab called Cloud Rig. So this is basically what the UI designed by the rigger for the rig. So in this you can do the settings, changes, IKFK switch, everything is on this particular UI. Uh, if you are not getting this, this UI, there is two ways to get this UI. First of all, first save this file. Okay. So if you save this file and rename it rain test and I'll be naming it underscore version 01. So I saved it. Now after saving it, your file gets saved. Click on file and do a revert. So once you do a revert, you will be able to get this UI over here in this type tab, cloud rig tab. So this is the UI. And even after this, if the UI doesn't appear, the second thing you can do is drag and create a panel. Okay. And then switch this panel to text editor. Once you switch it to text editor, click on this and click on this particular text. So this is the script that is used by the rigger to create the UI. So it's a pretty big script, uh, 461 line script. So this is the script that is used to create the UI for this rig. So all you have to do is once you load it over here, you have to just click on run script. Once you run the script, this script gets loaded. So these are the two methods. It is recommended that you save the file and revert. That is the first method. But if it still doesn't come, you can use this method. So now I'll be going into pose mode. Now I'll be explaining the rig UI. So what we have here is basically outfits. So right now this character has only one outfit. So it has only one system called default. Uh, once the rigger, if he feels like updating even more outfits, he'll be adding it over here to this. So this is the version one of this rig. So here you can turn off the scarf if you want to. You can turn it on. You can hand strand, hair strand over here. This is a hair strand. You can hide it. As you can see hair strand is hidden. You can hide the ponytail if you want. But it doesn't look good, so I'll be turning on the ponytail. Okay, here you can turn off all the IK controllers on the rig. Now the only F controllers you can see is the FK controller, or you can turn on the FK controllers. Turn off the FK controller. So now you see only the IK controllers. In this rig, all the blue color controllers are assigned as IK controller and all the red color controllers are known as FK controllers. So this way you will be able to understand which is IK and which controllers are FK. So yeah. And for extra tweak you have IK secondary, FK secondary. So these adds extra tweaking controllers over here. So this is just extra pivoting controllers or something like that. So uh, this is secondary controllers. You have stretch controllers that is basically nodal bone controllers. You can create a nodal bone animation using this controller. So these are nodal bone controllers, stretch controllers. You can stretch the rig as much as you want using this controller. Then you have face controllers. On this tab, you get the face primary so these are the primary face controllers so we can see over here that the yellow ones are the main controllers of the face so here you have the jaw controller 
so I'll be using this so this is to fast switching I use a quick shortcuts known as right click add to quick favorite right click add to quick favorite and now I can just use move rotate so I'll be rotating this way so you can see this is a jaw controller this is a lip controller bottom lip controller this is the smile controller this is the tweak controllers so you can tweak the face shape using these green color controllers you can create a m expression using this controller so you can't translate it it is only rotation available so you can create a m shape so you can use okay right now it's in solid mode so if i want better display with the textures i can switch to texture mode so i'll just click over here and within a second the textures will load so you have the texture controllers so now you can see the textures of the rig so you can create a smile smile You can change this like over here. You can change it over here. So, yeah. Go through all of the controllers. There are many controllers. You can go through. Each controller have a function. So, as you can see, these yellow ones are the main controller that manipulates particular expressions. For example, this is a puff controller. This is a cheek controller. And this is the eyelid controller. So upper eyelid, bottom eyelid, this one is the pupil controller. So what we can do is rotate it. So just press R two times. You can adjust the pupil. So there is an eye target controller also which you can adjust the eyes target. So by default this controller follows the head. So you won't be having any problem. Um, there are this is the eye expression controllers so you can adjust the expressions so yeah so this is the facial controller you will have extra tweaks over here that will be used to tweak the eyelids you can even adjust the nose and then most the lids you can make it even thicker if you want to so yeah lot of controllers for animation secondly we have face extensions so basically what it does is you can stretch the face controller and then rotate and squash it like, like this you can stretch this you can rotate and squash it so yeah extra controllers for do, doing extra stuff if you want to just create a squash head you can create a squash head so it's up to you you can even scale it to make the face smaller so yeah So these are face let me just stretch this face extras okay then there are face tweaks so this is if you want to go even more detailed so these are face tweaks this is the reason why this rig system uses a spider web kind of rigging system for rigging the face I can show you over here and I'll just turn on X-ray. So this is a spider web kind of rigging system. So it really uses spider web rigging system. So these are in between are all bones used to rig the character. 
you can see all bones are used so you can see the wires spider web kind of effect used to rig the character so i will turn this off okay. so you will get a far versatile animation and more organic animation because of spider web based rigging so that is the face so i'll be switching out the face fingers so now i'll just turn off x-ray uh, guys can switch on x-ray for the rig from over here you can see the rig through if you can't find any controllers you can use x-ray mode so this way you can see through and through the entire rig so if this pole vector is hidden behind an arm and you can't see it you can just turn on x-ray and select the pole vector so useful here you have the finger controller so this is the finger main bone controller so you can scale it you can rotate it you can grab and move it you can do anything so if you want to rotate this finger controller you can just select the fingers and rotate it so i have been using rotation so now you can see the entire finger is moving but i wanted to just move it into a curving kind of effect so what we should do is in blender you have to switch to individual origins in maya it is by default set to individual origin but in blender it is meridian point and this is due to various different uh, pivot issue re related things uh, just go through this it is very useful all of this is very useful you can do many stuff with it and uh, i wish this is options was available in my it's super super stuff for animation so set it to individual origin so now if i rotate it just you can see it's curving so now i will switch to local and So this is the finger controllers. I will be switching the finger controllers. So this is the chest controller. This is the IK which is switch, switched off by default. This is the FK controllers. So FK controllers. This is the FK controllers. And FK controller. To switch on the IK controllers of this rig, you have to go over here and see over here IK FK switch which is over here. You just increase the slider and now you get a IK chest. So you can IK rotate the chest. So it's very useful. So this is one. Then you have the hip controller. That is hip controller. You can rotate the hip and rotate the hip. So and this is this flower kind of shape is the cog for this rig so you can see over here this is the pelvis controller or you can say master pelvis parent it's you can see the rig names over here master pelvis parent so this is the cog controller next is the foot controller so this is foot ik we have foot ik foot ik that is stretching we have the foot roll that is this you can roll the foot you have the toe controllers okay and then this is the main controller and the pole vector for this like so you can use a pole vector so So right now what you can see is the pole vector is moving along with the rig. So you can switch that off by uh, IK hinge foot to left foot 
pole follow so you can just change pole follow over here this is for arms this is for legs so i'll just zero it out and now you can see the pole vector is not following the foot so you can switch it off over here and pole i can pole follow so yeah now you have the shoulder controllers over here and the head controllers over here then you have what we call it the hair controllers so when you switch it on you can't see the hair controllers because this is a controller you have to turn on x-ray for so once i turn on x-ray and switch it on to b bomb you can see the hair controllers so i can rotate it i can rotate it and i can rotate it you can see the hair controllers are over here so you have an extra hair controllers over here uh, this hair strand I had turned off by before, so you can adjust this hair strand also. So hair controllers. Then you have cloth controllers. Right now only cloth controller for this rig is this controller over here. So I am rotating this. I'm rotating. Then I can turn on the X-ray. Okay. Enable modifier. That is not needed right now because that is uh, rendering and lagging stuff extra. So here are all the parenting and parenting option. You can go through it. Like uh, for example, uh, face primary. So right now this controller is following the head controller. Following the head controller. So I can switch it off over here by you can see where I target parent. So if I set it to one, now it will only follow the torso, it won't follow the head. So yeah, there are a lot of stuff over here. You can go through each one of them and settings over here. So this will let you know what is the use for each of them. Hinges are basically parenting. Uh, left hand, right hand hinges. So you can turn it on, turn it off, it's up to you. By default, st stuff in this rig is fine by how it is. You can just turn on spline IK if you prefer. And here are the colors. Uh, this won't work, I think, because right now this character is in uh, a referenced character. So this won't work. So don't bother with it. So, yeah. So this is the rain rig. So now you can start animating this rig. So by default, texture view. And this is the render view that you get renders from. So for this view, you need lights. So this is the lighting view. As you can see, when I'm moving slowly, adjusting the lights as it's adjusting the shadows. By default, this is the best one you can use for this rig. So, here, yeah, go through this rig, use the LED controllers, pull the rig, and Have fun animating this rig. So, for example, if I just rotate it on the mouth, there is no sticky lip in this mouth, so you have to manually place this controller over here. Manually, you can get a sticky lip kind of face. So just
what you can do is again what you can do is with this um, if you are FOV if you want to change the FOV of the perspective some guys like a 35 FOV for your perspective you can change it over here in view 35 so or 22 it's up to you so some animators prefer it like this so some prefer it 70 So this is your viewport perspective. And uh, yeah, the IKFK switch, same way, this logo over here. And uh, you can check IKFK switch over here. Right arm, right leg left arm left click so you can switch it over here so now once it's zero you get an fk control us so same thing for leg also over here So FK controllers and FK switch are over. So yeah, one more tip that once you pose a character, if there is no keys in the character, right? As you can see over here, there are no keys. So once you like save the file and then reopen the file, file open with rain rig test. Test shell, it will reset. You can see the pose has been reset. So to save the pose, we have to just pose the character. Once you pose the character, you have a proper pose or something. Just set a key to location rotation scale. So once you set the key, you will have key in everything. To so save the file and then you reopen the file. You can see nothing has changed. So everything has stayed the same. One more thing that this reopening the file, clicking, don't save, and again clicking on this. This is too much of work. So instead, you can what do is you can just file click revert, and then it reopens the file. So revert is a way of seeing reopen the file. Uh, secondly, um, what you can do is yeah when you're doing a file save as and right now there is version 1 over here and if you save in version 1 it shows in red color that means you're going to replace your file so it shows in a red color if you want to increase the version by 2 you click on plus over here so I click on plus now your version is second version so you don't have to manually click over here or change the number all you can do is hit plus and it manually increases the version number as you can see over here so save as and it does the save as so that is a very handy tool uh, this quick favorite is accessed by clicking Q you can add stuff to quick favorite by right clicking add to quick favorite so it gets added to the quick favorite view you put render animation that is play blast you can even add this to quick favorite so now you have viewport render animation you get a play blast so now it's doing a play blast so i'm going to cancel it you can even add uh, render play view animation so control f11 that also you can add it to quick favorite so add add it to quick favorite so now you get everything in your quick favorite by pressing Q. So move, rotate tool, scale tool, play blast tool, and everything. 
so you can see you can assign shortcuts also over here so you can assign shortcuts assign shortcuts assign shortcuts you can add it over here uh, one more thing uh, it's come to my mind that whenever you open a rig some of them are getting an error that your rig is stretched or is deformed so to fix that issue what you can do is click on edit preference go into system and then save and load and turn on auto run python script remember this always keep this on so if this is not on your rig will be deformed so just turn it on this way your rig won't be deformed in a view and everything will work fine so that is one thing secondly what you can do this feature animation you can do is you can just select all the controllers if you want to paste it inward you press ctrl c and ctrl and the shortcut is pose con shift control v so shift control v now it's pasted it inward you can see here so you can mirror paste mirror in blender by doing this so by default blender has a mirror option so you can mirror and poses by pressing control c to copy the pose Control Shift V. So Control Shift V will paste the pose. Mirror, paste the pose. So, okay, that's it. Enjoy animating. Have a great, have a great day.